everybody, it's Bunny, and another month of our lives have passed, and so that means it's time for our monthly favorites for the month of February. And definitely my absolute favorite moment in February was the moment that I set up this new filming room. And it's so fantastic, and two, why am I doing this? Whose school thing is this? There's two videos upcoming about this filming room. I asked you guys on Instagram the other day to leave me some questions because when I filmed my last filming room that I took apart, you guys had so many interesting questions in the comments of that video. So I decided to do like an official post and see if you guys wanted to ask me some questions. And there were so many amazing questions that I cannot wait to answer that I'm gonna have to split that video into two parts because if not, it would just be a oh, too long. So get ready for an updated filming room tour and a Q&A where I will be answering a lot of you guys' questions about all the weird things that I do collect and why I collect them and just a bunch of questions that you guys asked that I would never, uh, I just hit a baby. A bunch of other questions that my brain would have never even thought to ask and I just spent a really long time talking about two other videos that I haven't even filmed yet. Into my monthly favorites. First tangible monthly favorite is this adorable bucket bag that comes from the brand Melly Mello and they are made in Italy and I found this handbag brand on Instagram and I thought that they were so adorable. It's just so unique. Like I've never seen another like round, round purse like this. Maybe it's like a normal thing, but for some reason when I saw it, I was like, ah! It's just very open, very spacious, but there's also this really cool drawstring suede thing in here. So you pull these strings, bam, your bag is closed. And then it's like safely, concealed in here, all your stuff. It's just like a great everyday bag, but it's not like boring because it looks so interesting to me. The next thing for my monthly favorites, you guys may recognize from a does this thing really work video that we did earlier this month. It is the Glam Palm Zigzag curling iron. The first time I tried this thing in the video, I kind of was wishy-washy and I was like, mm, maybe this is a little bit weird. Kind of looks like spider legs. But then like the, the thing that it did to my hair was like infused into my brain and I really ended up liking it and I ended up using it several other times this month. The only thing that I don't like about it is the price. It was very expensive, right around the $200 mark. But I did find a possible cheaper alternative. Stay tuned for that video, but I really, really do love this one. This is like the splurge version. One of my last pictures on Instagram, I did my hair with this thing and so many people were asking how I did like box shaped curls and this is how you achieve that look. The next thing that ironically is in my monthly favorites is the right cup, which was my very last video on this channel. And it's kind of something that I ended up joking about so much that I just kept using it. My favorite flavor is orange. I hate to even describe what it is again, because then that would be like my third video on this. Even though I'm not like, oh, am I drinking orange juice? It has encouraged me to drink more water. Going from something that's like, oh yeah, healthy water drinking to something that's like kind of not healthy, I bring you flips birthday cake pretzels. This was a total impulse buy as I was checking out from Michael's, which is like a craft store. And I'm not usually a person that buys snacks or anything edible from like a not grocery store or a Walmart type setting, but I love birthday cake flavored items. Like Oreos has come out with birthday cake. Uh, there's like birthday cake flavored gum that I've gotten from Target before. So if you like birthday cake flavored items, you will love these pretzels. I'm not sure if they're technically yogurt or chocolate covered. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but it almost looks like they have little multicolored sprinkles on them. They're just very, very tasty and they do taste just like birthday cake frosting. So if you're into that sort of thing, you're gonna be into these sorts of things. Next is two pairs of shoes. I've gotta figure out what the name of these are before I'm like, I like these ones. I'm like the least prepared person in the world. I really miss doing shoe unboxings. And uh, I, I don't know, I feel like though, if videos aren't like, wow, like in your face these days on YouTube, like 
no one clicks on them or something. I don't know what's going on. I do miss like the old days of me just like sitting in front of the camera and like talking about whatever and it didn't have to be like a five star video. Are those days dead? Uh, comfort me in the comments down below. Maybe a different discussion for a different day, for a different vlog, for a different video. Anyway, here's some shoes that I like. These super sparkly boots from Unif, which I did put on Instagram. And what were they called? These are called the Stacks. That took a really ridiculously long, ridic ridiculously long time to find the name, but they so much, very much remind me of like David Bowie like Ziggy Stardust and they are so comfortable and I really feel like this is like a very exciting accessory but it's not too much at least for me I have definitely worn these with like a dress like super casual days um with jeans just whatever I would wear them with shorts I feel like glitter is really kind of like on trend right now and I love the look of glitter but just about as far away as I can keep it from my eyeballs the happier that I am. Up next is a pair of shoes from Jeffrey Campbell and these are called the Y Cliff. I'm not gonna lie my favorite thing about these let's see can you guys hear that every time I'm walking in these it sounds like I'm wearing spurs and I just want to say like, there's a new sheriff in town. They have a lot of buckles, a lot of silver elements, and they're just very bejeweled. Maybe bejeweled is not what I'm looking for. I just love studded black leather things. These just go great with my vast collection of holy biker shirts and camo jackets and plaid and all of the things that you normally find me wearing. They're so easy to just like slip on. There's no like buckling or tying required. So if I'm running out the door and I'm late for something as I inevitably always am, this is just like a great, cute, comfortable pair of shoes that I can like throw on. Up next is a fragrance and these came out a few months ago and I never got into them because I've been moving and basically like the last two or three months before I moved I didn't really unbox too many of my PR packages. It's MAC Shade Sense is what the collection was called and they came out with I think six different fragrances based on some of their most iconic lipstick shades. So this is named after Creme de Nude and I don't I should be able to just do you want to smell it? I'll spray it for you. <gasps> Let me look up the actual notes though so that I sound like an informed video person. Oh I sprayed that so much that it like I'm like tasting it now. I didn't even spray it that much. I just sprayed one spray but somehow it got right in the mouth. A scent capturing the vibrant sexiness of clean radiant glowing skin through a cocoon a velvet musk. I don't really know what that sentence means, but I really love the fact that they included cocoon. I would love to smell like a cocoon. I think of like uh, killer clowns from outer space and they like cocooned people. Or my favorite episode of the X-Files, which is the one about the green bugs and there was cocoons. I digress, but I am very excited about cocoons. Up next and last are two stress relieving items, which you know my 10 out of 10 personality really needs and I think I actually put this store in last month's monthly favorites as well but I genuinely love this account and this store she sells a lot of stress relieving items squishy items and it is squishy noodle I bought from her these squishy grapes and they're just basically like a stress relieving toy with Orbeez inside. Blah, 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 blah. I play with it so much. Focus on my face please. I'm almost concerned I'm gonna pop it or break it one day and I'm like please don't break on me. So I'm like I try and be gentle. My favorite thing to do there's like a little grape at the very end. You guys see that and I love to squeeze an Orby up into the little end of the grape. Oh you guys hear that? It makes like this weird like noise. Oh, did you hear it? Not sure if she has any in stock now, but maybe she will do a restock. There was also a purple version, but I like green. 
because of alligators, obviously. And last monthly favorite, I almost feel guilty for telling you guys about because I'm pretty sure it is a blatant ripoff of someone's design on Kickstarter. That is just about one of the top 10 things in life that really grinds my gears is when somebody has like an original idea or invention and then someone else steals it. It's really, really annoying. This thing is called the Holy Crystal and I think it's based off of the fidget cube which was the original device on Kickstarter which was a cube shape which I think means it has six sides. Very embarrassing that I don't know that. Once again I do have a degree in poetry so I can tell you a lot about like Percy Shelley and Lord Byron, William Blake and all that jazz and how to write a sonnet but do not come to me for practical education or anything about math or counting or sides or shapes because I don't know anything. This thing has many, many sides full of all sorts of stress relieving things. So there's like this pink thing that you can pinch and we've got sliders and we've got a worry stone and a disc that turns and you got like a little Game Boy Advance thing over here and more things to pinch and this thing that looks like a cat tongue. Just really overwhelming you guys with information right now. Some spinners and a joystick and an on off switch and my favorite which is a clicker and then you've got this like string to hold it with. Technically these are meant for like putting in your backpack or your purse probably not your pocket unless you're wearing like Jean Co skater jeans from the 90s that have like enormous legs and pockets. It's like for the office or for school or anywhere in life that basically you get stressed out so you can, you know, do what I'm doing right now, click a pen, push a button, whatever. Some of them make noise, some of them don't. I just kind of highly encourage you guys though to look for the original fidget cube because I think it's cool to support people who actually design things. I bought this off of a semi-sketchy website that we will get into later this month and that's really the only reason why I bought it is because you guys have been asking me to do a wish haul or a video about Wish for a very long time and that's where I found this so it was just an item that I was trying to purchase to basically like review the website. So I'm gonna link you guys to this item but I will just say shop there with caution and only use PayPal. I've had some success on that website and some not success. Anyway we'll talk about that later. It's helped me a lot this month like it just if you if you have stress. Oh, this video is way too long. I am so sorry but thank you guys so so much for being here today and for watching and for hanging out with me if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings also if you want you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girl same way it's spelled here i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye